in this update, there's new weapons, new abilities, new awesome stuff, and not to mention, there's actually an extra panel, a brand new button, in which you can click it and actually increase things. You can buy more luck, you can add an extra ability slot, you can have a stronger weapon slot, extra new weapon slot, so you can actually get some new things by upgrading the upgrades that you get. This is getting out of hand. If you guys love the upgrade monkey as much as I do, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Okay, so there's so many options. I feel like we just buy extra luck right off the start. It's only $250, right? So what if we just buy extra luck twice? So we have two extra lucks. That's like, that seems like such a good option. Like, I feel like that you'd obviously want to do that. New ability costs $6,500. It used to cost $2,000. It's actually gotten so much more expensive now. So you can't just go for an ability right at the start trying to get some easy stuff. So let's get a new weapon. Oh, look at this. It even has an icon now that tells you what it can pop. So Sada can hit camos. Open can hit lead. Well, I think it's always nice to just start off with Sada. I think that gives us a huge bonus. And I think we kind of always want to just buy luck, right? I think getting the luck upgrade is just really solid all around. Let's go ahead. Let's grab ourselves a new weapon. Let's see. Whoa, there's a new common. Wait, shell. Oh my gosh, it's literally Mortar Monkey. That is epic. And it just automatically targets. That is not a common. That should be a rare, it feels like. So Mortar Monkey's been added to this now. That's so cool. I'm so excited. There's just new things to find about this mod, which always makes it... Wait, quad darts? Quad darts? You literally can just get a helicopter. And it just follows your mouse now. You literally just get a helicopter now. That's legendary. Okay, new weapon. Ooh, a Zeely. Oh, you can get a sub now? I let's, let's get a Zeely. Because that is camo. Ooh. Or let's just... I mean, okay, maybe just another Sada wouldn't hurt. You know? It is a little bit interesting that they made the ability so expensive now. So you can't just go straight for an ability, which I agree with. Because come on, let's be real. No ability costs $2,000, right? Like the cheapest ability is around $6,500. So I think that is reasonable that you have to save up that amount of money in order to get it. I feel like the old upgrade monkey strategy is just to get money making as quickly as possible. But that actually changes it up. Let's go extra panel. We can buy a luck. We can buy two more lux. Which, I think the more luck that we buy, which, it sounds so funny to buy luck. Okay, new weapon. Ooh, common. Monkey ace. Wait, we can just get a monkey ace now? I'd rather just get the shell, I think. I think the shell's gonna be a really strong combo. Lots of combos. We've only seen one rare, so it seems like the luck has changed a little bit. Ooh, we got a Dora now, too. Let's go! Okay, we're actually getting some super solid upgrades. Some super solid luck. Now, the one thing that's interesting is the upgrade used to cost $75,000. It now costs $125,000. So, yeah, it's really expensive now. Let's get a new weapon. Ooh, another quad darts? I kind of want to just get more shells. I think that's probably... Or we already have... We can just have two heli pilots now. I mean, look at how powerful that is. We literally just have two heli pilots. Do we want to save up and try to get some new abilities? Because there are new abilities that we can buy, which is amazing. Oh, another quad darts. Okay, we, we, we don't, I don't want to get too many helicopters. I'd rather just get hot shots. That hits leads. Uh, we do have a little bit of problem with some camos, I think. You know, we do have Sada. Camo leads are going to be a problem. Actually, let's upgrade our luck. Let's get one luck. We can get one more luck for 2,300. Okay, luck's starting to get a little expensive now. Luck is $3,000 to buy and upgrade that, so I don't think that's really what we want to be doing. Oh, we do not have a lot of camo detection. We have Sada, and that's it. Whatever we can get that's camo detection, I say we just go for it. And we might want to start saving up for getting an ability. All right, let's get a new weapon. Oh my gosh, Moab Blue. That's too good to not put to not get. Especially with the Moab showing up in five rounds. We're gonna want something to be able to deal with that. It definitely feels that the upgrade monkey is a lot more balanced. And I love that. I love that this mod is more balanced, more fun to use. I'm gonna save up for the new ability. Again, it could just be an old ability, but I, there's so many new ones that we can get, which would be really, really, really cool. So I would be very excited to see that. All right. And new ability, let's see what we get. And overclock, all right. So we've gotten overclock before. 
Not the worst one that we can get. Still pretty decent. It's a nice attack speed bonus, especially if we start getting some money making. That will be really nice to overclock and get some big dollars. Let's get a new weapon. And oh my gosh, favor. Oh my gosh, crossbow map, but favored trades. Oh my gosh, favored trades, but crossbow master. I'm gonna get, I have to get crossbow master. Right, like I literally, I feel like I have to get crossbow master. It's too good to not get. I might end up regretting that because man, favorite trades, that's like a $4,000 tower and that will make us a lot of money and it would pay for it, but. All right, new ability, let's go. Moab Eliminator, not too shabby, I'll take that. Actually, it's probably good that I ended up getting the crossbow master just because of how strong it is and that'll scale really well. Ooh, Psy, let's grab Psy. Because, well, Psy allows us to pop camo balloons. And now Psy is just like on top of the buggy. He's just like, whoa. Drew to the jungle? Oh, but triple shot can hit camos. No, Drew to the jungle. I'm not. I, Drew, Drew to the jungle is vastly superior in every way, shape, or form. Whoa, blade shooter. I definitely want double shot because we've been complaining about not having camo detection. And I need to make sure that I get some camo detection here. Right, like I think that's really important. Let's go ahead and buy some more luck. Okay, I cannot buy these things. These look is that eighty thousand dollars? That's a hundred thousand, and that's like that's so much money. Hundred sixty thousand for an extra new ability slot. Those cost so much money. There's no way I'm gonna be able to afford those anytime soon. So in the meantime, let's get a new weapon. Ooh, missile launcher, hot rings, or large caliber. I think I want large caliber because large caliber is just really nice. I can always just have my heli pilots up here. I don't like the heli pilots. I'm not a huge fan of it just because I have to move my mouse around. Like, I think it's pretty cool, but nice. All right. New ability. Summon Phoenix. Man, we've been getting pretty similar abilities recently, or we haven't seen any new abilities. Not that I'm complaining. These are all very good abilities, right? These are still very solid. Okay. New banana plantation. Let's go. Nice. Banana plantation is very, very nice to be able to get our hands on. It allows us to just start making a little bit more money, which is always needed. Oh my gosh, Dark Knight. Wait. We literally have Dark Knight now. That is insane. That's probably the best that you can get. The best epic or whatever. That's $6,000. We can hit camos now. Oh, and it's plasma. No, 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 no. That should definitely be a legendary. That should definitely be a legendary. That's almost as much as a crossbow master. Like, that is insane. That's the best epic that you can get. Like, no questions asked. That's the best one that you can get. All right, let's buy some more luck. We can... The more luck we have, because we're going to need to buy the luck anyways, and every time we buy extra luck, which I love that you can do that. I love that you can really start thinking about investing differently with your the upgrade monkey. This mod just keeps getting better and better. And if you love this mod, please keep showing your support and love for it and hit that like button subscribe it is absolutely amazing okay new weapon all right let's try out new weapon oh my gosh per they've added perma spikes oh my gosh and it's white hot spikes too oh my gosh wait i can just have it be a target wait close it definitely puts them down relatively slowly but that's okay do i want to start getting some stronger weapons here We just got exotic super mines. Are you kidding me? What? That's busted. We just win. Wait, how did we? It's because we keep buying better luck. That's why we would have never gotten it if we haven't been buying. Okay, so extra luck is actually broken. Like, it is broken. I thought this was more balanced, but it seems like it's even more overpowered now. I love it. I love it. Okay, we guys really start focusing on getting more money now. It'll be interesting to see how far we could actually take this. I bet we can go really far with this. I need to overclock so I can make more money. Like, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. Grandmaster Ninja, Artillery Battery, and Banana Research. Okay, luck is way too overpowered in this. It's like we can literally just get anything we want whenever we want. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. It's a good overpowered. Was that just a lucky roll? Or is pretty much everything we're going to get now just insane? Okay, we got just a really lucky roll. Bloom Liquifier. Do we want to start getting new, stronger weapons? Because the upgrades will reset it. But that does cost like $120,000. Which we might be able to get our hands on kind of soon. I need 9,000. Okay, new weapon. Sentry Champion or Super Brittle. Oh, they're so good, both of them. Um, 
I'll get super brittle. I think super brittle will be a, a better combo for this. I can't believe that we have super mines. That is just that boggles my mind that we've managed to get super mines. The extra luck costs fourteen thousand dollars now. It costs more than a new weapon because I really would like to just get more. And eh, none of these are very good. I'll just get double shot. Like none of them are too, too, too exciting. Let's go ahead and just get some stronger weapons. And anything that we can get. Okay, yeah, commons are just bad. I think anything that. Ooh. Four times damage boost. Okay, so the money boost does not. Look how bad the money boost is now. The money boost does like almost never goes up. It's very, very small increments, which is probably very reasonable. Okay, a 1.1 money boost. That's going to be really nice. An exotic. Whoa. Okay. I love the Mother Money Boost. Like, everything gets, like, a little bit of stat boost. Just, like, everything just, just a little bit. Like, not a crazy amount, right? Not just, not something insane. Sticky Bomb? Or Faster Barrel Spin? A Dart- Oh, that's actually kind of cool. You can get Dartling Gunner now. All right, new weapon. Let's roll. Oh, that was a lot of money we just got, actually. Okay, new weapon. Balloon Solver? Yeah, boy. Stronger weapon's always really nice to get. Like, if we can get stronger weapon- no, it's time for more luck. I think we have gone long enough without buying some more luck. And it seems like every... I'm gonna... I want to theory... I got a theory, okay? My theory is every time you buy luck, the next upgrade immediately is going to be insane. I just feel like that's a thing. I don't know if it's just been how it's been working so far. But it really feels like every single time we get something or buy a new upgrade, the next new weapon upgrade is just busted. Like, it is so good. So I want to save up and see if I can get that. And let's see if it let's see if my hypothesis is true. An avatar of wrath. Literally, we got an exotic avatar of wrath. Maybe there's something to it. Maybe there's something to this strategy, okay? I need more money. Oh wait, I totally forgot about abilities. I totally forgot about abilities. Okay, they are really expensive though. But let's buy a new ability. Moab Barrage? You can have hero abilities now. You're kidding me. Look at this. Okay, that wasn't- that was okay. Like, that wasn't that good. We still have so many more things to buy. New ability- Monkey Nomics! Oh my gosh, that's such a lifesaver. Getting Monkey Nomics is such a lifesaver. So, we've only gotten one new ability so far, which is, like, not that exciting, honestly. Extra panel luck is $21,000. Holy guacamole. That is some expensive- that is some expensive luck. New weapon- Ooh, spike mine. Glaive Lord? All right, you know we got to get Glaive Lord. Do we want to max luck out before we go and do anything else? I think we get, like, obviously we want to get one luck, right? So we get one extra luck. And now that we have one extra luck, now we get another new weapon. Like, it works. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it works so well. All right, let's see. New weapon. And we just bought the luck, so we should get something really good, right? The big one. Okay, so not... Okay, maybe, maybe it wasn't... We definitely didn't get anything insane. So maybe we've just happened to get really lucky whenever we did that. Maybe it's this next one. Oh my god, I caught it. It's the Ray of Doom now. Holy cow, that's so funny. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, we got a Ray of Doom. Now. We're literally so powerful. Oh my gosh, two exotics? Moab Domination or Balloon Crush? Definitely Moab Domination. I don't... I think, okay, I'm, this might be a hot take. This might be a hot take. Balloon Crush is my least favorite T5. I, I know that sounds crazy. You don't have to believe me, but it's the truth. All right, greater production, give me that. Oh my gosh, luck is $30,000 now, are you kidding me? That is outrageous. We haven't even gotten the new upgrade. That cost $125,000. That is, that is kind of insane, actually. Do we just save up for it now? Nah, let's buy some more luck. We have such a solid foundation here. It's amazing. All right. All right, another 20,000. Flying Fortress? Sure. Why not? Let's just buy a Flying Fortress. I love that Flying Fortress is in this now. Oh my gosh, Saber's gonna freak out. Saber is going to freak out when he sees that there's a Flying Fortress in this. New ability, another Moab Eliminator. Round 95, but I don't think I'm really worried. Okay, I want global range. Let's start working on getting some global range here. Uh, wow. Okay, obviously, we want the exotic. Another exotic. Another exotic. It seems like the, the, these upgrades actually are pretty nerfed. And I like that. 
The stronger weapons were a little bit too overpowered, to be honest. Inferno ring? Okay, what, wait, what does this upgrade even do? Unlocks a new rarity, increases weapon slot, increases new ability slot, greatly increased luck, remove common rarity, strong one weapon, new ability cost decrease, keep everything. I think it's time we start saving up. We're already at round 100. Destroyed. Absolutely demolished. And I need 125 dollarinos. Which is a little insane. Normally you can just rush and get it and it's no problem. But it feels like money making has been severely nerfed in this. And then also your ability to get... Oh wait, we can get it now. Okay. Stronger weapons have also been really nerfed. So let's get the upgrade now. Boom. Alright, so we have the upgrade. Ability price is only 4,000 now. Okay, so we can get spike storms. Extra panel. Extra panel is still the same, so that's whatever. Oh my gosh, ability perma UCAV. That is, wait, that's an ability? You literally just have that as an, that's an insane ability. We got it again. Oh my gosh. Wait, our ability is super busted now? Oh my gosh, another perma UCAV. So you just have, et Saber is going to freak out when he sees these upgrades that you can get. Oh my gosh, ball of life from Adora, nice. Should we just max out our luck? Never mind. The luck is so expensive now. I will save up and get forty-five thousand dollars in luck. I think that's I think that's reasonable. Like I think that's okay. You know that's not too bad. I have Adora Ball of Light now, which is super epic. All right, extra panel. All right, more luck. Yeah, sixty-five thousand dollars. Another ability. Another Ball of Light. All right, let's start getting some new weapons. All right, one more ability. Firestorm from Gwendolyn. Nice. I love that we have hero abilities. One more ability. Look at. A ben end of round cash. Okay, that's probably not that good. It's probably like $500 at the end of the round. All right, so new weapon. Armor piercing darts, boom liquid fire. I guess armor piercing darts. Operation dart storm. Ah, uh, Bernie stuff. Bernie stuff's pretty good. All right, new weapon. Ooh, ooh, destroyer. Sentry champion. Yeah, definitely give me some sentry champion up in here. Let's go ahead. Another destroyer, okay. Perma charge, all right. Ooh, ooh, favorite trade or archmage? I'm gonna go with favorite trade because I really want favorite trade. I know it's like way worse. Another favorite trade, we can just go ahead and get that. Sharpshooter. Ooh, spirit of the forest, for sure spirit of the forest. You can't not get spirit of the forest, right? Like that just gives you so much money. Very nice to have. Whoa, the biggest one. We gotta get the biggest one. Right, banana plantation, we gotta get that. What else are we going for? Ooh, sub commander? I'm down for some sub commander. Sky Shredder, holy cow. You can get almost every tower in the game now, which is so cool. All right, epic recursive cluster. Grandmaster Ninja or Balloon Solver? We already have Balloon Solver, so let's grab Grandmaster Ninja. Let's save up. I'd love to get max luck, even though I know that's just way too crazy now. Extra new weapon. Is that 80,000? That's only 80... That's only 80,000. Maybe we save up and get that. Wait, what's the luck cost? Okay, let's get the luck. And now let's save up and get the extra new weapon slot. We're around 124 now, and we're not even worried. We have over 10 million pops. So far, I haven't had any concerns of losing, which is nice. But I definitely see it going to be getting a little bit difficult here soon. Once we get up into like the high 140s, 130s, which is right around the corner. Okay, so we can buy an extra new weapon slot, which is max. So when we buy a new weapon, we should have five choices, which is insane. Let's see. Do we have... Oh my gosh, we have five choices. It goes across the entire screen. Archmage. And that gives us so many options for paragons. Like, that's so cool. Yeah, definitely Inferno Ring. All right, use this. All right, El Busto, El Busto, Monkeynomics, and oh my gosh, new Paragons! Master Builder! Oh my gosh, you can literally get new Paragons now. We now have the Master Builder. Wait, does that mean every Paragon is in the game now? Because you only had four Paragons originally, but now you can get more Par- Oh my gosh, don't tell me there's new Paragons. Okay, Godly Ascended Shadow. We have the Master Builder turrets now. Like, you definitely want to have the, mas the Master Builder turrets. Here, we can just throw these down. Like, look at how much damage they do. The Red Sentry Paragon. That's amazing. Monkeynomics. And now we can put the blue one down, too. Okay. Let's go ahead. A new ability. Elite Sniper. Okay, that's cool. 
All right, new ability. All right, another overclock. That is actually gonna make us a lot of money. And now I'm okay with that. Do I wanna start getting stronger weapons and try to make that, or do we wait to get a, oh my gosh, Glaive Dominus. We have three Paragons now. You know, I was like a little bit worried that we were gonna be doing okay. I am not worried in the slightest anymore. I am completely confident in our ability to just keep going and destroy these balloons. New weapon, ooh, another Paragon, another Glaive Dominus. Okay, new weapon, whoa. Flying Fortress, MAD, or another Ray of Doom? Probably another Flying Fortress, I would say. You can't go wrong with having two Flying Fortresses. Okay, new weapon, favorite trade. I'm basically gonna get all money-making stuff now. Cause we've gotten like some of the money-making stuff, but we, we've only gotten one like good money I mean, we okay, I'm not, we've gotten, we've gotten the Monkeynomics, which is like really, really nice. I'm not complaining at that. Oh, perma brew! Oh my gosh, Goliath Doom ship! Okay, we—it is getting insane how powerful we are. I'm trying to get my hands on some, just something else to help me make a little bit more. You know, just a little something, something. Nothing too, nothing too shabby here. Luck, luck is ninety-five thousand dollars. Okay, I can't afford luck right now. Whoa, full auto rifle, super storm, artillery battery, and arcane spike. All of these are amazing. I actually want artillery battery. That seems really fun. I haven't seen that yet, and I wanna, I wanna try out some of the new stuff that we haven't gotten yet. You know? All right, one more of these, and let's see. Oh my gosh, two godly builders. All right, well now we have two sentry paragons, which is nice. All right, let's see about some stronger weapons here. Money boosting is really bad now. Like a money boost as a, as a strat. Oh, a 1.2 times money boost. Very nice. And range, like, never goes up. Because normally you can just get global range, but not anymore. Not anymore. Okay, a 1.1 times money boost. Okay. Let's see, a 1.08. Oh my gosh. Godly Ascended Shadow. Don't mind if I do. I don't mind if I do in the slightest, okay? So we haven't been able to get max luck. Which is kind of insane that cost, or the extra new abilities and stuff. The stronger weapons, oh whoops, I accidentally bought that. <laughs> They're pretty cool. And I'm sure there's still so many more things. I wonder, can we even lose? How powerful are we? Like, it's hard to rationalize how much, how much power we have in the palm of our hands. All right, let's do perma charge. All right, friends. It is time that we see the, how strong we've created our, to be our, our champion here, okay? Let's skip. Okay, wait, we can skip like 10 rounds at a time, right? 180, 190, okay. All right, I just went to round 200, which gave us a lot of money, by the way. Okay, new weapon. All right, another godly shadow. Another godly shadow. And then, oh, all rares, that was pretty bad. Extra panel, what is, okay, wait, what if we just buy some new luck? Okay, oh, let me pick up all the money. And what is this? Okay, like, so extra stronger weapon slot. Oh, wow, that costs so much money to get. Like, it costs so much money. But then now we have five stronger weapon options. Which, again, it just gives us all rares, which is hilarious. And that was round 200. That's amazing. And that's what we're going to end on this video. If you guys enjoyed it, you want to see more of this tower, you want to see more of its secrets, I'm sure we've only scratched the surface of this new update. So let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.